Hey, what's up guys? My name is Michael Westbrook. As always, thank you for watching. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Gladio from Cornerstone Music Gear. It's a two channel Dumble style pedal and I'm gonna use it as a jumping off point to ask the question, is the Dumble sound just for blues and jazz fusion? Is there more to it than that? We're gonna take a listen to a lot of different sounds from the Gladio and see. All right, let's get into it. I think that most people, when they think about the Dumble sound or a Dumble style pedal like the Gladio, they think about what you just heard. They think about the blues or maybe jazz fusion. And there's a good reason for that. I mean, most Dumble amps were made for players who play those types of music. Robin Ford, Stevie Ray Vaughan, even you know now hearing John Mayer play Dumbles, he's coming from a really heavily influenced blues background and his playing is heavily seeped in the blues. But the question is, can a pedal like the Gladio do more? We're gonna explore this idea today. We're gonna highlight a few different sounds from the Gladio and a few different styles of playing that you might not associate with a Dumble style pedal. I want to also share with you and talk about some of the characteristics of the Gladio that I think make it a great fit for other styles and other uses. Before we take a listen, I wanna mention one other thing too. This video is technically sponsored because I received a small discount on the pedal. Um, I reached out to Cornerstone. I've been interested in picking one up and they offered me a small discount, but in no way am I paid to make this video or paid to say good things about it. I'm just kind of sharing my experience. All right, let's take a listen. I think one thing that the Gladio excels at, or one great characteristic about it, is this balance of warmth and clarity. I think the typically Dumble style pedals have this really warm mid-range that helps uh, single notes sound really full and fat, um, but then they also have this clarity aspect to them. And um, for single note stuff, that works amazing, but a lot of times I've played pedals where they have this great warmth for single notes, but then when you play chords, they just sound muddy or undefined, and I think that that's where the Gladio really excels. In the demo you just heard, I was playing the Gladio into an 18 watt Marshall clone that I recently built from Trinity Amps. The amp was set pretty clean, um, and I was able to get some great kind of meatier chordal tones that still had a lot of clarity and definition to them. I'm not going to go fully into the specs of the Gladio. If you want more info on that, definitely check the links in the description. But one great thing about it that's coming super useful for me is that we have two sides that are voiced a little differently. They both go from, you know, kind of cleanish boost to all out overdrive and can be used individually or together to get a wide variety of sounds. I feel like I'm still actually learning the pedal and everything that it can do and getting used to all the sounds and how I want to use them. But it's coming super helpful for me um, to be able to have that much versatility from each side yet kind of offer different flavors.
one way that I found myself using this pedal is kind of similar to how I like to use Klon style pedals. Just a little bit of overdrive, a little bit of saturation, um, and using it for a lead type boost. Now, the thing that I like about this better than a Klon is that I get that clarity that we were talking about. I'm getting that mid-range fatness, um, I'm getting that boost, but it's also maintaining this clarity that I don't always get with a Klon style pedal. Now, Klons have great top end, um, and I really love you know the, the EQ on a Klon, and, and those are great sounding too, but this offers something a little different and something that I don't feel like I've been able to get from Klon style pedals. Just that clarity in the top end, but again, not getting harsh um, and just maintaining this touch responsiveness that um, is pretty unique. If you guys saw a recent vlog that I did and some of the clips from the live show, um, there's a slide solo on there. And for that, I use the Gladio to kind of boost that signal, especially with a glass slide. I love the brightness that I'm able to get from this pedal. So on that clip, I was using channel one into my Greer Lightspeed and then into my Matchless SC30. And one thing that I did or I tried on that sound that I haven't been doing is using the comp switch to the left, which adds a little bit more compression. Now, typically for slide stuff, I'm either using a touch more overdrive to get some sustain or using a compressor. And for this, that made sense that I would use the compression switch over just to give me a little more sustain. And I feel like it worked pretty great. The times that I find myself reaching for this pedal are when I want something that has that rich sustain to it. And that makes sense. I mean, Dumble style pedals are made for blues where you want a lot of sustain, um, almost vocal-like characteristics. And so, um, you know, this pedal definitely excels at that. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be playing blues. I find that the clarity, the fatness, and just the added sustain that this pedal gives is great for single note stuff, even if it's not a bluesy single note thing. If we go back to that first demo that you heard, I guess technically it was the second, but there's a higher um, strap part where I'm just playing longer single notes. And you know, this pedal does such a great job at those kinds of parts. One kind of catch phrase for the Dumble sound is touch responsiveness. And this pedal definitely has that. It's very responsive to your playing. And that really goes across all genres, right? We want our gear to respond to what we're putting in. And so it makes sense that a pedal that does that incredibly well is going to suit lots of different styles and lots of different genres of music. There are a lot of great things about this pedal and the Dumble sound, but it's not for everyone or for every situation. I've found a lot of times that that mid-range, you know, thickness, that mid-range kind of, um, you know, sustainy thing, you know, sometimes it didn't work. Sometimes it was too much. Dumble pedals um, and the Gladio included tend to have this thing that's kind of a fuzzy fizziness to them. Um, that's just part of the sound. It's part of that signature sound, but it doesn't work for everything. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. I know I've had a lot of great things to say about this pedal, but it's not going to be perfect for every situation. At the very least, if you haven't tried the Gladio or a Dumble style pedal, you definitely owe it to yourself to try one to see what kind of uses you can get out of it. Um, definitely don't pigeonhole it into just a blues or a jazz type thing because these kinds of pedals can do a lot more and can fit into a lot of different scenarios. I know we've been kind of exploring the idea of using the Gladio for different styles of music other than blues and jazz fusion and those types of approaches, but I mean, 
it kills at that stuff. I mean, it was made for that and it sounds incredible. Um, but you know, for somebody like me who does all kinds of stuff is always looking for gear that gives me a lot of versatility. The Gladio does that in spades as well. Um, it's a really versatile pedal and hopefully watching this video kind of gives you some different ideas of using the Dumble sound in different ways or kind of just seeing it and looking at it in a different way. That's going to do it for this one. As always, thank you for watching. And until next time, I'll see you out there.